It's a good step forward yesterday. Uh, we won by 16 votes. The, we know that the path is, is very tight, but we can open a new political phase. Uh, we need time. Uh, we need time because next week uh, we work for a larger and strengthen our majority and push for, for more cohesion among parties who support uh, the government. Probably Conte will go to the Quirinale, the, uh, you know, the headquarters of our uh, president of the Republic. But uh, to, to go on, we, we need to build a new covenant for, for the legislature involving senators who do not agree the, the choices of uh, Matteo Renzi, the past president, uh, as you know. Uh, people who do not uh, uh, want to walk side by side with Salvini and Meloni, the leaders of the Italian uh, sovereignist party. So it's a tough period, but I, th I think we can uh, go forward. Beyond the, the clear personal ambition that Matteo Renzi has demonstrated on, on various occasions, um, there is surely at the heart of his complaint some legitimacy that the spending programme that has been outlined so far just doesn't seem to be ambitious enough. But we, we, we agree some of the, the, the proposal of Matteo Renzi. The Democratic Party uh, is uh, involved, uh, is committed in uh, uh, improving uh, the, our recovery plan. But we don't need a political crisis right now when we must commit ourselves to vaccinate millions of people to push out the country from the economic and social emergency. We have concentrated our effort, uh, efforts in carrying out the recovery plan, but not only for the resilience of our economy, but also for growing the future of Italy. Uh, it's, it's very important to work in this direction, and I think we will uh, work with all the people who uh, trust in, uh, in Europe and uh, the ideas of Europe to, to, to support Conte. But Conte has to uh, listen to our uh, proposal. I, I think uh, it's very important. The next week are very important to understand how uh, Italy can, uh, can go on. Senator, I want to ask you about how damaging uh, these manoeuvres have been for Matteo Renzi because uh, the support for his party is just 2.4%. A report suggesting that former coalition partners will refuse to work with him in future. It feels as though he's torched any uh, future political ambitions that he may have had. What do you think the fallout is for Renzi? But, uh, I'm, uh, I'm very unhappy because... Uh, I, I was one of the first supporters of Matteo Renzi when he became uh, the president of our uh, uh, government uh, uh, five, years, uh, five years ago. Uh, I think he's, he's, uh, he's very smart. Uh, he has important ideas for the future of uh, Italy, but uh, he, he, can, uh, he can discuss with us. We, we can find an agreement. We don't understand why when the President of the Republic asked our uh, Prime Minister Conte to open a, a, a new political phase, he, he said no. He, uh, he asked uh, two ministers, uh, Bellanova and Bonetti, two ministers who support Matteo Renzi, to uh, uh, go out from the government. And this is uh, a choice that we, we can understand. And, and this is the advantage for, for, the, for the country, because uh, the country needs stability. We don't need new elections. 